Hi there, welcome to today's video on a hugely important topic, which is light your fire and stop trying to put out all the other fires around you. All right, let me fix this situation. Hope you can hear me. Um, listen, it's gonna be a short one, but it's a good one. If you find in your life you are constantly involved in dramas, in, um, God, just the tentacles of life, relationships that are, that are inharmonious, um, things seem to be going wrong in your life, in your career, um, disagreements, frustrations, you feel stuck. These could all be indications that yes, other things need to change in your life and you need to set boundaries and you need to have conversations with people to have better relationships. Or they could be one gigantic arrow, one gigantic arrow pointing in the direction of your purpose and your meaning and your usefulness on this planet. Your fulfillment, your feeling of fulfillment in what you do every single day. What I mean by this is when you start to find that you're operating in your strength and in your purpose, that word I know has so many different con con connotations, but what I mean is when you feel like you're doing the work that you're meant to do in this world, whatever it is, whatever station you're in in life, um, maybe that's just taking care of yourself and showing others how to take care of themselves, or maybe that's healing, or maybe that's teaching, or maybe that's getting up the rung in the next ladder, getting up the rung of the ladder in, in your career, in the next phase. Whatever it is that is giving you meaning and purpose and fulfillment, that is where your fire needs to come from, okay? A lot of my videos come from personal experience, and this one 100% does, because I have never had more harmonious, better relationships with my family, with my friends, um, better experiences of my life, just an overall like happier, more joyful existence than when I am feeling like what I am doing in the world, my work is on point. The point is it doesn't all depend on your work. It depends on how you feel about yourself. When you feel like you are on purpose, you are on fire, you are doing the thing that you're meant to be doing here, things have a way of figuring themselves out. So the name of this video is, are you lighting your own fire or putting out everyone else's fires? That's because when you're not in your own purpose, when you are unfocused, when you're unclear about your purpose, things naturally have a tendency to start taking up space in your life. Irritations start to happen, disagreements start to happen, um, in harmony starts to happen, things start to feel like they're going wrong, you have emotional energy that's quite stuck, things just feel wrong on many levels in your life. And one of the primary reasons I've always found in my own life is that my own head, excuse me, hasn't been screwed on straight with what I wanna do. And when that is, when I'm feeling unfocused, unclear, uncertain about my own future or my work, the first place the resistance wants to take me, and I did this for two full years with my family. I focused entirely on my parents, entirely on my mom's business, entirely on theirs, and yes, they did need help. But, so it wasn't wrong for me to focus on that. But you better believe that my lack of clarity and uncertainty here made me focus on that way longer than I needed to, much longer than I needed to, a year and a half longer than I needed to, okay? So the, the entire point of this video is not to give you 20 different how-tos. It's one how-to. One, look at your life and look at, are you lighting your own fire? Are you excited or feeling purposeful and passionate about something? I'm not saying you have to feel purposeful and passionate every day. I'm saying, is there something that's pulling you in this direction of feeling useful, feeling proud of yourself, contributing to the world with your work and your special gifts, or are you just kind of lackadaisical and um, allowing all of these other things to encroach on your energy, on your time, on your creativity? 
which usually looks like other people's fires and other people's dramas. So unintentionally, intentionally, it doesn't matter. Just check in with yourself and see what you're feeling right now. Are you feeling like there's a whole host of stuff that you're having to manage and figure out and that it's kind of out of your zone and range of what you want to do or can be doing? Like, if that's the case, come back to center, check in with yourself about what you're up to in your life. And I will tell you, problems have a way of solving themselves when you fix, little problems have a way of solving themselves when you figure out the bigger thing inside of you. But because we run from this bigger thing inside of us, that's why all these little, little things end up feeling like bigger, like tentacles and bigger obstacles for us to deal with, okay? so. Whole point of this video, if you feel stuck, if you feel like life is shitty, if you're feeling like you're putting out a million different fires that may or may not be yours to solve, even if you think they're yours to solve, first question for you is, go to the place inside of yourself that says, look, Ashita, am I <clears throat> on purpose? Am I feeling, am I taking actions that feel on purpose? Am I taking actions that feel aligned with what I'm here to do? Am I just living well and nourishing myself every day first and foremost this is where you need to start bring it back to self bring it back to yourself all these other little fires will a hundred percent be able to be figured out once you figure this out because you'll have more reserves you'll have more strength you'll have more energy you'll have more resources you'll have more brain power you'll just be more creative and think of better solutions to fix all of that or and a lot of times this is exactly what happens. Son, son! A lot of times this is what happens is that shit just gets figured out. People deal with it. <clears throat> Somehow it disappears. They figure it out on their own. It disappears. Okay? So check in with yourself. Put yourself first. Then go back and help if you need to. Or just stop putting out other people's fires. Hands down, point blank. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. All right? Thanks for watching. This is the end of this video, but please like it. Subscribe down below. And you know the drill. If you watch this, if you watch this and it helped you, share it with someone else who needs to see it. By the way, share it with friends and family because then y'all can be on the same page and talk about this stuff. <clears throat> this is what I do with my family. They hate it. They hate watching these YouTube videos, but still. All right, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.